Hey everybody, today we're going to be taking a look at Simplex's new full color touchscreen 4007ES hybrid fire alarm control panel. So let's go ahead and take a closer look. So here we have the front of the cabinet and the display window on the 4007ES. And I know it's a little bit hard to see what's going on because the rest of my fire alarm system is reflecting in that window. But I'm going to go ahead and pop open the cabinet and that should help get rid of some of that reflection. There we go. The door on this is a little finicky. I might have to look into getting that lock repaired. So, as you can see, we have the color touchscreen right here, along with all the LED indicators, the uh, regular fire alarm one with this little burning house logo, priority two alarm, uh, supervisory, trouble. This is for uh, either audible or total signal silence, depending on uh, what version of the codes the jurisdiction this panel is installed in is following. Um, and then we have the AC power LED. Over here, we have the label slots and the LEDs for the hotkeys. And then, of course, over here we have the uh, piezo buzzer slot. And then I really like this simplex label here with the 4070S uh, markings. I think it looks really cool. So now, if we go ahead and pop open this black uh, cover here, we'll be able to see the internal controls on this panel. So if we remove that out of the way see what we're looking at so here inside the cabinet you can see the main uh, power supply along with the main like uh, control board of the unit uh, up here we have the ID net uh, outputs then uh, some other addressable outputs here I haven't really looked into this too much um, then right here all of those terminals these are four uh, regular 24 volt conventional NACs, which is what really makes this panel, although it is kind of proprietary, um, what really makes this unique, because unlike other simplex panels with all that addressable, um, like addressable notification appliance equipment that they're putting out right now, you can still run just your good old traditional 24 volt horn strobes off of here. Now, the part of this panel that really makes it the hybrid design is the fact that we have this eight point zone and relay card right over here. So I'm gonna move the camera to zoom in on that real quick. So if we take a look at this eight point relay zone card here, you can see we have the eight relays mounted on the board, but what really gives this panel its flexibility to be used in retrofit installations, or you know, on a hobby system like mine, is the fact that these outputs can be configured instead to be conventional zone inputs. So uh, each of these outputs can be configured as just a regular class B um, normally open zone which just allows you to connect any conventional initiating appliance uh, to this panel without having to worry about any of the addressable communications with the other simplex products. Now they do also sell a 25 volt regulator card that you can connect into this unit and what that allows you to do is use competitor smoke detectors now there are some limitations on what's compatible I believe um, but what you can do is wire that card in here and that allows this panel to basically take over an older system while being able to leave the majority of the existing field devices in place and the other pro of this is you do have that addressable channel available and so if eventually that facility needs to change over to you know addressable initiating then that can be easily accomplished finally we're going to take a look over here at the back of the LCD display now if you look right over here you'll see this USB port along with the network port since this panel isn't uh, equipped with front panel programming or at least it's not enabled uh, on this unit this USB port and that, uh, again, what I believe is a network port, are essential because that's what allows this panel to communicate with a PC in order to program it using the Simplex ES programming software. And that USB port is eventually how I'm going to be able to load the programming onto this panel to be able to use it uh, with the system I'm going to be creating. 
So the last thing I want to show in regards to this panel is this big bubble wrap packet of installation manuals and user guides and all sorts of documentation that came along with this panel. Now unfortunately since a lot of this uh, paperwork here is proprietary uh, from Simplex I'm not going to really be able to show it very much. As you can see I actually took one of the uh, operating instructions pages and stuck it in the front of the envelope so I could show it on camera since uh, that's supposed to be framed and posted along with the panel anyways. But um, I do have all of this information available that should allow me to get this panel set up pretty well once I'm able to get programming from it. And I guess I'll post an update on this panel if I'm successful in getting the programming via USB from this panel. So thank you guys for watching and make sure you stay tuned, subscribe, do whatever, so you can see this panel in operation pretty soon. So, thanks for watching, and have a great day.